Hi Capricorn, this is Jeffrey, this is Ripe Color, this is your reading for August. And your little message for you as well for every other sign is clarity. Yeah, I decided to do it by sign, to go back to doing it by sign, at least the monthlies. You know, I just get an intuitive something. And I just follow it. I, I don't second guess myself anymore. It's like, I just follow whatever I hear, whatever they tell me to do. That's what I'm doing. Hmm. Okay. The four swords stabilize my thought. Sit, rest, allow like stable thoughts to come in and then something new comes up like this new um, idea, new perspective, a new inkling. And then we have the seven of swords and it's like, yeah, trust your first God instinct, right? Somebody offers you an opportunity, let's say in business and uh, your initial thing is yes, right? So you go with the yes, don't second guess yourself. Right. Or your initial thing is no. Don't second guess yourself. Like trust yourself. Right. That's why you got quiet. That's why the new idea came. Because sometimes, you know, we get these great ideas or interesting ideas. And people are like, oh, well, you know, I, it's not going to work. You know, and, and you talk yourself out of it. It's like that, you know, if you get it in your head, if you get it in your body, if it's like an intuitive thing, it didn't come to you by accident. It's not like, uh, the Amazon delivery guy got the address wrong. You know, oh, this is this is my neighbor. No, it's not for your neighbor. It's for you. The universe is really efficient. Mm -hmm. Intuition, yet again. Receive. Receive the gift. Exactly. Oh, my God. Yeah. Receive the gift. And you know what? This this is such a, a lovely card. It's a it's a six, so it's perseverance. But you know, cups, swords are about thoughts. We have three thoughts to begin with. <clears throat> and now we have two cups, and cups are about healing. They're about intuition. You know, because cups receive, you know, a swords are in the air, right? Sword a sword is in the air. So it's an idea or a thought. Or it could also be intuition sometimes, um, or a message. Um but it's mental. But then the cups are really um, emotional. It receives. And so the six of cups is this energy of, um, of like recollection of memory of uh, nostalgia, but in, in, not in a reminiscence, not in a, um, in a bad way in, in like a lovely light way, like having a really lovely recollection of, um, you know, maybe an adult really paying attention to you and, and you know, you're feeling really loved. Um, yeah, it's like that kind of recollection. And um, so sometimes, you know, when you watch these, uh, I watch a lot of the spiritual stuff and people are like, oh, I don't know what my, um, what do you call it? My, um, my soul's mission is, well, first of all, our souls have a million missions. You know, it's not like, we just come here to do one thing. I just came here to write and, you know, I don't breathe and I don't eat and I don't sleep. I just write because I'm meant to be a writer or whatever. I, you know, we're all meant to be a lot of different things. You know, we're really complex and we like to like learn a lot of lessons when we're here. But sometimes it's a re this recollection of what you used to love doing as a kid. And some kids like to be really active, right? And, um, and run and jump around. And some kids like to, you know, spend more time with themselves. And some kids like to play teacher or doctor or, um, you know, they're adventurous. And they like to play hide and seek or they like to make things or they like to talk a lot or they, you know, and sometimes the answer is right there. Sometimes, you know, piece of the answer is right there, right? So I remember really, really, um, uh, vividly, actually, when I was a kid, I had like these little Fisher Price uh, people. I had the wooden ones, you know, <laughs> the plastic ones had started being made, but I had some wooden ones, and I had the bus, and uh, I had a lot of people, 
And then I would go, you know, you go to those toy stores and they have those like little animals, you know, like they mostly, they have dinosaurs and stuff now, but I used to like, like the animals, like, like a gorilla and a giraffe and an elephant and all that. And so I couldn't wait to get them because I would build like a zoo and people in the zoo and like what animals. And, and so all I ever wanted to do was decorate and design. That's like all I ever really wanted to do. It's like to make things pretty and to make things get along. And, you know, when I would build these ramps and, you know, all that. And um, I didn't need anyone else to play with. I really didn't. I like, I was super happy doing it by myself, you know. I know I'd be happy to tell you about what I did and what happened, you know, and why I put this person next to that person or the gorilla next to the giraffe or whatever. And what kind of cage I chose and what I made the cage out of, you know, it was really fun. So, and, you know, so I started doing collage and it's like, I love doing that. It's like, well, I put this color with that color and this shape with that. I'm like, I love doing that. Nothing makes me happier. Like, I love doing that. I could do that for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. Really makes me happy. So that's part of my soul's mission. Like, there you go. Simple. Simple. All right. So that's my little take on that card. It was quite the take. Yeah. There's something brewing, like subconsciously, with you that, you know, toward building something, toward establishing something, toward being involved with. You know what I want to say today? I want to say today, um, it's like the hidden voices in your head that are leading you. It's like the, it's like the quiet, intuitive voice that says the loving, you know, it says, it's really what you want to do. So why don't you just do it? Right. Not the, you know, oh, it's not going to work. You don't have the time. You don't have the money. You're not good enough. You're not going to get the help. Blah, 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 blah. Like, just start doing it. Just start doing it. I feel like, like that's floating around in the background. Nice. It's a really nice beginning. Really nice. Um, a three, a four, a seven, a night, a six, a page. Okay. Sometimes I have two, and, you know, I could give you more okay extended readings are available for members 4.99 or 6.99 a month please become a member i offer um uh tarot readings that are on sale this month till the end of the month uh 35 for 30 minutes or 63 for an hour i offer pendulum clearing i offer iet and i have beautiful beautiful art for sale and i'm going to be working on the um what do you call it the collage they're, they're really fun fun to make Actually, I've never really made collage before, but that's what I'm, I don't know, my new thing. All right. I mean, I'm going to still do watercolors. I'm going to still do pastels, but I'm going to mix it all up. Blessings. <laughs>